briefly to let you know that Gerard and I launched our t-shirt line. It's called His Way and the slogan that we went for was related to waiting. Since a great deal of our videos are centered around waiting, we came up with this slogan, waiting is the new black. We want to start a movement. So for those who have not already purchased your t-shirt, when you purchase your shirt, be sure to hashtag Waiting is a new black. There will be an image of the t-shirt at the end of this video. Be sure to click on it. It will send you directly to our website. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you get notified when I have a new video up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get into it. loving my curls products the blueberry bliss line is simply amazing I have been using that a great deal this summer and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how I use the curl control jelly to achieve a perm rod set that produces more of the tapered cut look which is what I was going for which is perfect for short to medium hair I was so impressed with the results of a wash it go that I recently did using this product you all have to check it out I'm starting with dry hair it was in an old twist out, maybe braid out. And throughout this process, I'm just using the typical strategy in order to roll the perm rod up the length of my hair. And I'm just closing it. And yeah, it's just gonna be amazing at the end. Initially, I started with red perm rods because I wanted the back to have really small curls. So in the back, I wanted it to look shorter. And then as it gets closer to the top of my head, I wanted to I wanted the length to actually widen so it produced that part or that diva cut, taper cut type look. So in the back I installed blue perm rods which are my smaller size perm rods. In the middle I went for more of the apricot color and then at the top I did the pink medium size perm rods because I wanted the top to be more so big and voluminous and really uh, beautiful. So yeah. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I went about that process. It wasn't anything really snazzy that I did in regards to my technique. It was just that using the size perm rods is what's gonna determine how your perm rod set is structured. And I wanted to achieve a short tapered cut look, so I just went for smaller perm rods in the back and just increased the size as I went up to the crown of my head. applying my protective headband which is so great I find this to be amazing to use on my hair when I'm wearing big hair or when I'm doing a style such as a perm rod set and I just love it so I kept the perm rods in overnight it's the next morning and now you can get a better sense of the structure of the perm rods in the black in the black <laughs> in the back once again I have blue perm rods in the middle I have apricot color and at the top I have pink so I'm going to first begin by applying my hair growth oil and this is going to give me moisture while also helping to stimulate my scalp and helping my hair to grow which is always a good thing and it's also going to allow for me to reduce frizz when I'm taking down my perm rods. So I'm proceeding to take down my perm rods and I'm trying to be as careful as possible because I do not want to disturb the curl pattern. You will notice that some of your curls are going to come out a little funky but if you just wrap them around your finger you'll get them back to the structure or the original layout. So I'm just going to take them all down. After taking them down, I will proceed to separate the curls and I'm going to do those as careful as I possibly can. And if you're somebody who is maybe thinking about cutting your hair into the tapered cut because that is something that's trending right now, this is just an alternative to that particular style. Instead of cutting your hair, you can simply use smaller size perm rods in order to achieve the look that you're going for so I recommend you guys do this try it for the summer and if you do be sure to tag me or leave a comment down below if you plan on trying it where 
the hair naturally gaps or naturally falls apart is where I'm going to begin to separate and then I'll proceed to pick. That's where the volume is going to come in. So I'm going to pick more so at the top. I'm not going to do too much at the bottom because I don't really want a whole lot of volume at the bottom. I really want that to look short. So yeah, more of my, my picking and added flair is going to be at the top. During the summertime, you don't really want a whole lot of hair on your neck, so this style is just so perfect. Barely move now, we ain't eating bull, oh yeah. Looking sexy, baddest chick up in this play. DJ Jam is spotting me, it's in a thing. Yeah, there you go, come on, baby, dance with me. See, you gotta do much better if you're gonna turn up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, turn on your notifications so that you guys know when I post a video. Leave your comments and feedback down below. I do have previous videos using curls for you all. I also included my new t-shirt, which I talked about at the beginning of this video. If you click on the t-shirt, you can go straight to our website so that you can purchase. Also, in the description box, I'll put all the information regarding this product and all the products that I use in this particular video. I hope that you guys enjoyed once again. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.